So again, sorry for the bad lighting. This is the second PC build video I've done in a short amount of time that's been at like, you know, dark or whatever. So I got home from school today and at school I bought some pretty cool hardware off my friend. First thing we have is an ASRock X370 Tai Chi motherboard. I also, of course, was able to get the IO shield with that. And the processor installed on it is a Ryzen 5 1600 AF. So I forgot off the top of my head how this works, but the AF uses an upgraded uh, process node or something. And uh, that's basically, that uses the same architecture as the Ryzen 2000 series. So it's basically a Ryzen 5 2600. I also got the cooler with this. This is a, I think the standard Wraith cooler. And uh, the guy never used this. He had a water cooler on this. So uh, the thermal compound is untouched on there. I am probably gonna be getting rid of that and putting on some of the HY710 stuff that I have laying around. In this video, I'm gonna be testing all this stuff and starting on a new build. So I am gonna put this aside and move our uh, Raid Max Smile It On uh, motherboard tray that I use for testing this stuff. I am going to just put this on here. No IO shield yet because that's not really necessary. Just gotta line that up. And I'm gonna be putting in four screws because that's all I have. This build is going to be a dedicated like Kali Linux system. That lets me call it a hacking computer on YouTube so I can get more views. And I also have some other stuff I bought for this. First thing is a 16 gig kit of uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4. So this is a two by eight kit. So I just gotta put that in the slots here that I already opened. And I think that is the right uh, order. Uh, I'll double check that in the manual uh, before I actually finish the build. This is gonna be a two part video. First part's gonna be testing this hardware and the second part is actually gonna be putting it in the case and getting everything set up on it. So there is that. I also bought a WD Blue uh, 250 gig SSD. I think this is an NVMe PCIe SSD, not a SATA. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't need huge speeds with this build. This is gonna be the only storage device in the system for now. I might put a two terabyte drive in it when I next time I have one of those laying around because the blue is in my current gaming computer. And I think to install the cooler, I have to unscrew these and I'll be putting those in a safe place, probably in the build when it's finished. And we can put the processor down or the, the cooler down rather. And that thermal compound is nice and goopy. That's good. I probably won't replace it then because I don't need the world's best thermal compound for this build. I'm gonna get my bigger screwdriver as well. I might eventually water cool this build just uh, for kicks, but that's kind of not at all necessary. And right now money's a little tight, so I'm just gonna take it easy spending wise. So this platform does not have integrated graphics. So for the video card, I am bringing back my 960 uh, GTX 960 video card. So that's gonna go in here for now. And we can pop that in. I also mounted the cooler uh, off camera because I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to have a better view of why it wasn't mounting initially. But the back plate just fell because uh, nothing was holding it up. So for the power supply, I'm gonna be using this EVGA 650 watt. I bought this because it was the second cheapest 650 watt from a reputable company. My gaming computer, if you remember when I set that up, it also has a 850 watt EVGA. Cable management in the case is gonna be a pain because I'm using an older case with no proper cable management. So I'm gonna plug it in. Things on fire yet, turn it on. And we have some lighting on the board. That's uh, very nice, I like that. It's nice and plain and everything. So there's no power button on the board. And of course the power button pins are in like the worst possible spot, uh, but I'm gonna have to jab it with a screwdriver to turn it on. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Forgot to turn on the power supply. Wait, no, I didn't. Poked the wrong pins there. Things seem to be going well. Here we go. We are, uh, we have posted. That's great. Shouldn't be anything on the SSD or anything, so it's just gonna tell us there's no boot device. And that is perfectly fine. So it seems like everything's working. Let's go uh, into the BIOS and see if we can find anything. X370 Tai Chi, AMD Ryzen 5 1600, six core processor at uh, 3.2 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, both uh, modules show up. Like I said, I'm gonna do more research on the RAM config and what's recommended and uh, install everything in the proper slots. So XMP is enabled uh, and I think we're basically good. There's nothing else to uh, really do on here. So uh, CPU is running relatively cool. So that's gonna be it for this video. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. In the next video, I'm gonna be building this into, like I said, my Kali Linux dedicated system. Uh, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the PC build video.